thank you all for attending this informal meeting on several aspects related to the diversity of languages supported by, uh, by Clarion. And uh, this is also at, um, a good way to uh, introduce some projects, some activities with uh, similar aims. And therefore, uh, the Clarion is uh, the common language resource and technology infrastructure. And we collaborate with quite a few infrastructures. Uh, so there are not only uh, Eric's from the field of so social science and the humanities, where Clarion is um, located, but also uh, many uh, research infrastructures from totally different fields. And what we have seen and what we can see is that all of these infrastructures make use of a meta language. So we are talking English, we publish our uh, presentations, our papers, our uh, information, our uh, website that is, by the way, uh, going to become new in the end of this week um, in English. So English is for almost all research infrastructures, the meta language, the language of communication, the lingua franca. And this is uh, the case also for uh, research in general. So uh, there are some endangered languages like the research language French, like the research language German, that used to be quite uh, uh, popular um, some, yeah, 100 years ago or so. Uh, but this changed. So, and not only in linguistics, not only in the humanities, but even more in in the sciences and in all other research fields. But what is different uh, from the point of view from uh, when dealing with the language infrastructure? We do have an object language. This is also a language, and this object language is not one single language. We are well aware that, especially also in computational linguistics, English is a kind of a dominant language. So there's definitely more research on English than on any other language from the point of view of computational linguistics, also to get the results comparable. But there are so many languages that are also part of the discussion and Clarion aims at supporting all object languages. Although I've mentioned most language resources are in many cases centered towards English. And even if we see the situation that tools are meant to be language neutral as it is the case in many cases, they are not so language neutral because nowadays, at least in computational linguistics, everything is done by machine learning. Language resources are the key to get good results. Good language resources are the key to good results. And although these tools are somehow language independent, we have the problem that lots of languages are in a way under-resourced. And this does not only affect the availability from usability from tools, but it also uh, affects somehow the quality because all the evaluations are essentially done by using a few languages, most notably English here as well. Clarion is an infrastructure that is of course, based in Europe. This is the E for the ERIC, the European Research Infrastructure Consortium. And hence, uh, most members, most consortia and Clarion are European or are based in Europe. And this also means that we feel in a way responsible to uh, support these 
European languages, so all the official European languages. But as you know, in Europe, we have not only the official languages, most EU countries have at least as a working language more than one language. So we have the official languages. Uh, we do have uh, languages that uh, come through migration or tendencies. We have sign languages, although some of the sign languages are also official languages, but in some other countries, sign languages are used as uh, one you know, language. But we also have a member um, that is outside, uh, that is not located in, in Europe. South Africa. And this is per se quite interesting because South Africa is also one of the multilingual countries with some 10 languages that have an official status. And to generalize, Clarion aims not only at supporting these languages, but we want to be an infrastructure for all object languages. Our metadata catalog, uh, the virtual language observatory, allows you to search for data or for information available through about many languages. And um, the metadata that is usable for this is, um, in a way, diverse. We have different metadata fields. Uh, so if you probably you've played around a little bit with uh, the VLO already, or I would like to invite you to do so. Um, and um, there's also this <coughs> language field and you see how many different languages are already in a way supported or at least cataloged in this virtual language observatory. Today, we talk about Clarion, of course, but we also uh, invited uh, some other institutions from some other projects that have similar aims. So I would like to mention uh, the European Federation of National Institutions for Language, FNEO. Um, I is missing, by the way. Um, and uh, the Deputy President Sabine Kirschmeier will give a presentation on FNIL, on the aims of FNIL, and also on the relation to Clarion. Uh, I'm very happy that uh, Georg Rehm presents a project, a European project that mainly focuses on the equality of language, the European Language Equality Project, ELE, uh, will be presented by Georg. And um, Stephen Kauer will talk about the knowledge infrastructure and one example of a knowledge sharing uh, institution, the Clarion Knowledge Center for Linguistic Diversity and Language Documentation that is based in, at, at SOAS in London um, and at the uh, uh, Academy in Berlin and at the University of Cologne will be presented by Felix Bauer. So what is our aim? So we would very much like to um, prevent the following situation uh, adapted from the Orwell book on animal farm. So we don't want to have the situation where all languages are equal, but some languages are more equal than others. So thank you very much.